Have you ever wondered why you are constantly working on your golf swing when you're looking at video that you filmed during your practice session or on the range and every time you look at it you're always working on something different? It's because your camera is not set up the same way every time. I'm going to give you three keys to set your camera up correctly every time so that when you look at your golf swing on video you're seeing it from the same vantage point so you can continue to work on your drills and strategies that help you become a better player and shoot lower scores. The first key is camera height. It's extremely important that you get your camera to set up so that the eye of the camera is at the hand high, just a little higher than your hands. And what I've done is I've taken a piece of blue tape on this pole here just to mark that height. Camera height first. Second is that you understand camera placement. Now from the view you're looking at you can see this orange pole and that's pretty much all you can see but what's really important for you to be aware of is that there is another pole okay and you can see only one pole when your camera is placed correctly. Now that line is on your hands so that when you make a backswing and you have a checkpoint right here the camera shows that the club head is on your hands and the club head is at hand high. That's extremely important for consistency. Now let's take for example I walk back and I happen to put the camera in the wrong place and the camera happens to be placed over here a foot to the right. Now we see two poles. Now if you think you're doing a great job filming your golf swing and you're thinking okay you know I've really been taking that golf club where it's really outside my hands and you're trying to get it more inside but if I just take it back and I put the club in the same place I had it before this club head looks like it's in a different position. It looks like it's more behind my hands because your camera is not in the same place. Now let's go to the other side of the spectrum and move it from out of position to in position where we see one pole to out of position again on the left and put it back down. Now we're going to go back to that same halfway takeaway position put the golf club in the same place and now this club head appears in a very different position from the camera's view but in reality I'm putting the golf club in the same place. That's how you can get off track very quickly. Moving the camera back to a proper position, as you practice not only is that camera height important but also the camera placement and when you practice some directional or grid lines. You can see I have string on the ground here that helps me with my setup position of the camera and then also I have a grid line that is in line with my target line. You're not setting the camera up on the target line. You don't want to see the ball flight from this view if you're looking to work on your golf swing. You want it on your hand line right here so that when it is set up correctly you're taking the golf club back, putting it halfway back so the club head appears on your hands. Record that often. Practice setting up your camera correctly so that you don't waste a lot of time and energy working on your golf swing when really there may be nothing wrong but you've placed your camera in the wrong spot. Don't miss out on content that can help you improve your game and shoot lower scores. Subscribe, turn on your notifications, and comment. I'd love to hear more about ways I can help you improve your game. Now that we're filming from the front view, it's very important that you adjust your camera so it's filming from a landscape view. That allows us to get the entirety of the backswing and the forward swing in the frame of the picture. And you notice that I haven't adjusted my tripod from where it was previously set. And we can see two poles. So we know anytime you see two poles, you need to adjust your camera position. We'll pick it up, move it into where we can see one pole, and now your camera is in position for you to start your practice session. 
you'll get very, very consistent feedback from your view because you're doing the same thing every time. And then mark where that tripod is and mark your practice station. That way, every time you film your golf swing, you do it the same way every time and you're going to create more consistency in your practice session. It's going to help you improve faster.